are you? Are you here for the Fey Dodo? Alright everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into the spooky new remake of a horror classic, Alone in the Dark 2024. This ain't your grandpa's creepy mansion adventure. We're joining Emily Hartwood, a worried niece, and Edward Carnby, a grizzled P.I., on a trip to DeSato Manor, a creepy asylum nestled deep in the Louisiana swamps. Emily's got a bad feeling. Her uncle Jeremy sent a cryptic letter before vanishing from DeSato, so she hires Carnby to sniff things out. Big mistake. Probably. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. DeSato's a mess. Abandoned hallways, flickering lights, the whole creepy asylum vibe cranked to eleven. It doesn't take long for things to get weird. Groaning from behind locked doors, shadows that dart out of sight, unsettling scribblings on the walls. Already creeped out, right? As they explore, Emily and Carnby uncover a dark secret. DeSato wasn't just an asylum, it was a place for experiments, messing with people's minds in ways that shouldn't be messed with. And something went horribly wrong. Now, DeSato's crawling with monstrous experiments gone bad. Think grotesque human-animal hybrids and creatures that shouldn't even exist. Not exactly the company Emily and Carnby signed up for. But these two ain't going down without a fight. Emily's resourceful, finding hidden passages and solving puzzles to get deeper into the mansion's twisted secrets. Carnby, well, Carnby packs a punch and knows how to handle a creepy crawly. But the deeper they go, the more they realize Jeremy's disappearance is just the tip of the iceberg. There's a sinister force at play, manipulating the darkness within De Sato's walls, and it's got its eyes set on Emily. And the story? Well, it takes some liberties with the original. Gone are the Lovecraftian vibes, replaced with a heavy dose of southern gothic horror and Cajun mysticism. It's a unique flavor, but some might miss the cosmic dread of the first game. You can choose to play as Emily or Carnby, and each character has their own unique story arc. It's cool to see things from different perspectives, but some might wish there was more unique content for each playthrough. Still, the voice acting is top-notch, especially Jodie Cummer as Emily, David Harbour as Carnby, well, let's just say his performance doesn't quite match the chills of the setting. The real star of the show, though. The puzzles. They're challenging atmospheric, and require you to pay close attention to your surroundings. No hand-holding here, folks. You gotta earn your scares and progress. It's a nice change of pace from the action-heavy horror games we've been getting lately. Speaking of action, there's some combat peppered throughout the game, but it's more about resource management and strategy than blasting away with guns. Ammo scarce, enemies are tough, and the environment can be your best weapon. It's tense, it's brutal, and it'll make you think twice before charging into every fight. Visually, Alone in the Dark 2024 is a treat. DeSato Manor is a masterpiece of creepy atmosphere, with every creaking floorboard and flickering light adding to the unsettling vibe. The outside environments are diverse and beautifully rendered, from the Louisiana swamps to forgotten ruins. Just don't expect cutting-edge graphics, it's more about mood than pure visual spectacle. Overall, Alone in the Dark 2024 is a mixed bag. It's got a chilling atmosphere, fantastic puzzles, and a unique southern gothic spin on the horror genre. But the story stumbles in the second half, and the voice acting is uneven. Still, if you're looking for a thought-provoking and suspenseful horror experience that rewards exploration and puzzle-solving, then DeSato Manor might just be the place for you. Just don't forget to pack your flashlight, and maybe some extra brain power. Alright everyone, that's all we have time for today. Let us know in the comments below what you think of Alone in the Dark 2024. Would you dare to explore DeSato Manor? And what other classic horror games deserve a remake? Until next time, stay creepy. You'll have to run, Emily! You'll have to run!
My God! Don't leave me alone. There must be something I can work with. Come on, Carnby, think. Not everyone needs to be saved, Mr. Carnby. You should know that by now. I did everything you wanted. What else can I do? Today, the American Expeditionary Forces face considerable John. losses in France. I think I've lost my head. The brave men oh, of the defenders not of just Europe. I am sorry. I can't do this. What's the matter, Emily? Lies. More lies. Three. Wait. <laughs> 